One point. One point. One point. One point with Arnold Gamboa. I know some of us, even majority of us, are experiencing stress in life. I know that for a fact because I myself am experiencing sometimes, even a lot of times, stress in life. You don't know what to do. You're so stressed out. You're so burned out. You feel like everything is not going right. And you feel like you are not uh, doing the best thing for you and your family because you are stressed out. Pag tulog mo sa gabi, hindi ka makatulog. Iniisip mo na ang daming problema, ang, ang daming bagay na kailangan gawin na hindi mo nagagawa dahil stressed out ka. Nai-stressed out ka. So, the first thing that we're going to learn to this for this series is, and we're going to answer this series with uh, the question, how can I cope up with stress? By understanding some of the things that Jesus Christ himself did when he was here on earth. Alam nyo, ang anda, daming mga bagay na po pwede natin ma makita na ginagawa ni, na ginawa ni Kristo nung nandito siya sa, sa lupa. Ang dami niyang ginawa na pwede natin makopya on how we can cope up with stress. And so that's what we're going to be doing for the next uh, few weeks. We're going to learn from the life of Jesus and uh, how he cope up with stress. Alam niyo si Jesus when he was here on earth, ang daming demand sa buhay niya. He has to answer to a lot of people. He has to meet a lot of people on a daily basis. He has to preach every single time. No, He has to speak to a large crowd. He has to perform a lot of miracles. And a lot of people are depending on, on him every single day of his life, the 33 years of uh, life that he has lived here on earth. And daming demand sa buhay ni Cristo. Pero he was able to cope up with all of this stress. And uh, the reason for that is because he has what we call some stress management techniques. And that's what we're going to, to learn today, tonight. We're going to learn two, uh, two, two, te two techniques tonight, right? And then for the, the rest, siguro, in the next few weeks. The first thing, the first thing that we can learn from the life of Jesus, and that we can also translate this into our own life is this. Now, we have to know, if you are stressed out, you have to know who you are. Know who you are. You know, in the life of Jesus, si Jesus mismo, no? Alam na alam niya kung sino talaga siya. He was able to define who he is. He said, I am the light of the world. He said, I am the door. He said, I am the way. He said, I am the truth. I am the life. He knows who he is. He knows um, who he is from the inside out. Now, the question for you is this today, tonight. Do you really know who you are? Meron ako isang kaibigan, sabi niya, Sumakay siya ng bus. Pumunta siya ng kabantuan. Sabi niya, pupunta muna ako sa bantuan. Hahanapin ko muna sarili ko. <laughs> eh, I don't know if it's a joke, but the reality is for some of us, hindi rin natin alam kung, kung nasaan tayo, kung sino ba talaga tayo. And, and that's the reason why some of us, we are so stressed out. And the reason why we're stressed out, really, for some of us, uh, is that we don't know who we really are. If we don't know who you are, somebody else will define who you are. Uulitin ko yan, ha? If you don't know who you are, somebody else will define who you are. And that's not a good thing to do. Because some people who doesn't know who you are will define the person that you should, who they think you should become and what will happen you will be manipulated to become who other people think that you should become that you really are not. Hindi naman ikaw yon pinipilit ng mga tao na maging ikaw yon. Kasi tingin nila, ikaw ay dapat ganito. They will manipulate you to become who you are. At ano ang mangyayari kapag ganon? You will have insecurities in life. 
insecurity kasi pakiramdam mo hindi nangyayari sa buhay mo yung pakiramdam mo sinasabi ng tao na dapat mangyari sa buhay mo. And that's for some of us was the reason for our burned out. Nababurn out tayo because of that. And the reason for burnout is also stress. May stress out tayo. That's what happened. And when you have insecurities in life, you have unrealistic standards in yourself. You put too much pressure in yourself. Ang bigat ng pressure na binibigay mo sa buhay mo. Why? Because you're, you have a lot of insecurities in your life. And when you have a lot of insecurities in your life, you are stressed out. So, number one, for you to understand, for you to fight stress in your life, you need to know who you truly are. And let me tell you, let me tell you who you are. If you are a follower of Jesus, you need to know whose you are. Kanino ka ba para? Ikaw ay para sa Diyos. You are, you are a child of God. Your value, your value is determined. Your value is determined not by the people around you. Not by the people who try to manipulate you to become who you are. Your value is determined by the person who owns you. And that is God Himself. You are loved by God. You are, your love, the love that you receive from God is not dependent on people around you. Right? You have to understand that. You, you are, you are, God has a plan for your life. And maybe some people has other plans for your life that causes you in insecurities, but you know what? God has a plan for your life. Don't let others define who you are. So, ulitin ko yan, ha? To fight stress in your life, to cope up with stress, don't let others define who you are. Get your identity from the owner, from the owner of yourself, God himself. All right, so that's number one. How to fight stress? You have to know who you truly are. Number two is, okay, you have to know whom you're trying to please. No. Fight stress, you need to know whom you're trying to please. Sino ba talaga ang pinapasaya mo? Sino ba? Kanino mo ba ginagawa mga bagay-bagay na dapat mong gawin? Kanino ba? Kasi kung hindi mo alam kung kanino mo ginagawa yung mga bagay-bagay na yan, you will have stress in your life. You know what? In John 5.30, Jesus read, said, I only answer to my Father. It's only the Father in heaven that I am, I am answerable to. I'm going to please my Father in heaven. Yan ang sinabi ni ni Kristo. Kaya hindi siya nagkaka-stress sa buhay niya eh. Hindi siya nagkaka-stress kasi siya mismo alam niya kung sino ang kanyang pinapasaya. Isa lang ang pinapasaya niya. It's God, the Father. You know what? If you don't know whom you're trying to please, you know what will happen? You will be um you will cave in. Bibigay ka. Bibigay ka sa number 1, criticism. If there are people criticizing you, bibigay ka at you will feel stressed out inside of you. Criticism dahil you're going to think, you know, people have needs to love me. People need to love me. They need to love me. So, when I'm criticized, when I'm criticized, kailangan tingnan ko sila, kailangan isatisfy ko sila sa kanilang mga criticisms. I need to always cave in to their criticisms. And that will make you so stressed out. Diba? Pag kinikita sa isa ng isang tao, gusto mo palaging baguhin to sa buhay mo. Hindi mo alam kung yung palang criticism na yun, na yun ay constructive criticism. Kasi, alam niyo, pwede naman tayo makinig sa mga constructive criticisms. Pero, uh, if you are not careful, you're also cave in to criticisms that are not supposed to be given to you uh, with, with you with you in mind, with your benefit in mind. May mga tao kasi na nagkikriticize lang just for the sake of criticizing. Criticizing you. And and when that happens, you will cave in to criticisms. Number two, you will cave in to competition. 
Kasi you will be worrying kasi others will be are better than you. You know, may mga competition na nangyayari sa buhay natin. If you're a student, you're competing with others. Nangyayari sa akin to nung nung um, nung bata ko eh. Nanonood ng nanay ko, yung nanay ko magaling mag-pressure nung bata ko eh. Kailangan maging first owner ka. <laughs> Ganon. So, pressure na pressure ka ngayon, you feel stressed out. You feel stressed out. Kasi you you are competing with others. You're competing with others. And then, if you don't know whom you're trying to please, you will cave into competition. Kasi ang mangyayari, gusto mong labangan ang mga tao sa buhay mo na alam mo ay mas lamang sa'yo. Others are better than you and you're worrying about it because you are, they are your competition. Yan ang problema pag you, you don't know who's you're trying to please. And lastly, you'll cave in to conflicts. You'll cave in to conflicts. Kasi, whenever there's conflict, there's always a disagreement. And when there's disagreement, you don't know whom you're trying to please, you always cave in. Bibigay at bibigay ka palagi pagka may conflict. Palaging palagi kang ma, ma, magkakaproblema sa, sa buhay mo. Palagi kang may stress out. Kasi pag may conflict, worried ka palagi. Hindi ka confident. Hindi ka confident kasi hindi mo alam kung sino ang piniplease mo. Hindi mo alam kung sino ang pinapasaya mo sa buhay mo. Don't allow others to pressure you to do things that you're not supposed to do. Don't allow others. Wag mong wag mong wag ka magpa-pressure sa ibang tao sa mga bagay na alam mo naman na hindi mo kailangan gawin kasi you're not trying going to try to please everyone. You're not supposed to please everyone. Ito ang sinasabi ng isa sa mga paborito kong pastor, si Craig Groeschel. Sabi ni Craig, you can't please everyone but you can please God. Ulitin ko ha, you can't please everyone, but you can please God. If there's any one person that you need to please, it is God. If there's someone that you need to think to please that person, it has to be God. And I'm not saying you, you, you're not supposed to please your parents or you're not supposed to please your, your husband or your wife or your kids. I'm not saying that. Of course, you can, but, but the reality is that you can't please everyone. You cannot please everyone. But if there's anything, somebody you can, that you can please, you can always please God. And so when you want, when you do something, you look for pleasing God first and foremost. Pag ginawa niyo yan, I can guarantee you, yung stress level niyo, bababa ng malaking malaki. Bababa yan. Kasi hindi ka na pressured to please other people. You are only about to please God every single day, every single time. And when that happens, you can cope up with stress. You, your, press, you, your, your stress level will drop significantly. So, number two, if you want to cope with stress, you have to know whom you're trying to please. And I'm telling you, the best person to please always, all the time, is not everyone in your life, but it's God himself. One point, one point, one point, one point with Arnold Gamboa.